Hello, I'm Shannon Moore. I'm a Google Certified Trainer and Global GEG Leader from Visalia, California. I'm going to be answering the question, what should I do at the end of the year, which relates to planning and prep in Google Classroom? At the end of any school year, educators everywhere are ready to bring the experience to a close. That involves reflecting on the events, assignments, and activities of that current school year, tying up any loose ends, and creating a clean slate for which they will revisit at the start of the next school year. An important step in that process is completing a few tasks to wrap up their Google Classroom. In this video, I will share what to do at the end of the year to clean up your Google Classroom including ensuring all of the assignments are graded and returned, cleaning up your Google Classroom Drive folder, hiding or deleting your Google Classroom calendars, and finally, archiving the classroom. The first step we must take is to visit the Grades or Marks tab and ensure all assignments have been graded and returned to the students. To do that, you navigate to the top of your classroom and click the Marks or Grades area. From there, you will see your gradebook. If you hover over an assignment, you will see three dots appear in the right side corner next to the assignment title. If you click those three dots, you have three options, edit, delete, or return all. Click return all, and from there, a message prompt box will pop up. You go ahead and push return, and voila, your gradebook is cleaned up. Step number two is to clean up your Google Classroom Drive folder. Now, when you create a Google Classroom for the very first time, it automatically connects to Google Drive and creates a folder there for you. Every single class that you create after the fact will go ahead and create some subfolders, including all of the assignments you did throughout the school year. Once you click Classwork, you'll see there are three options at the top of the screen. The Meet icon, the Google Calendar icon, which we'll get to later, and the Class Drive folder you're gonna go ahead and click the class drive folder. From there, it'll open up your Google Classroom drive folder. One very important note, and this is super important, never, ever, ever delete this classroom drive folder. Once you delete it, it's very, very hard to get it back. So when you're in the class, what you're gonna do is you get to decide the steps that you'll take to organize. Once the drive folder is organized, the next step is to take a look at the automatically generated classroom calendars. For every classroom that you create in Google Classroom, it automatically generates a classroom calendar that highlights due dates of the assignments. It's important for us to go and hide those calendars or delete them. The easiest way to do that is on the Google Classroom, navigate to the top, ensure you're in the Classwork tab, and then find the three icons at the top again and click on Google Calendar. Once you're on the Google Calendar, if you go to the left side panel and find My Calendars, you can go ahead and seek out the Google Classroom that you're looking for. If I hover over the Google Classroom, notice the three dots pop up. If you click the three dots, it'll open up a dropout menu. You can click Hide from List, which will take this calendar off of your list of calendars. If you'd like to take it a step further and delete the calendar completely, you can go ahead and navigate to Settings and Sharing. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice it says Delete. Once you click delete, there'll be a prompting to ensure that you are ready to delete that calendar and you can permanently delete it. The next step is you wanna navigate back to the Google Classroom to archive the class. By archiving the classroom, you remove it from the main page and freeze it so students can't continue to add to it. Additionally, the integrated Meet link will become automatically inactive if that is a feature that you enabled. In order to do that, what you do is you navigate to the left side of the screen, click the three horizontal dots, once you click that, you'll navigate to Classes, and you will see your Google Classroom tiles. Once you are on the Google Classroom tile, click the three vertical dots, and it'll give you a drop-down menu. You find Archive, and when you are ready to archive the class, go ahead and select Archive. Don't worry, once you archive a class, you absolutely can get it back. Go ahead and navigate to the left side where you see the three stacked horizontal lines. Click it, and it'll bring the left panel menu up. Navigate to Archived Classes, Select it, find your Anywhere class or your Google Classroom, click the three dots and click Restore. It'll bring up a prompting box and all you have to do is click Restore. And there you go. Now you know the steps to take to clean up the old and make way for the new. Thank you very much.